All right. So we are um, starting that or with that series, a bit Kabbalistic series, not just Kabbalistic. It's spiritual. It's uh, about um, you know understanding deeper how we work as human beings. And we're going to use the book Tomer Dvora, um, which where Tomer Dvora, the Palm Tree of Dvora. Uh, it's written by the Ramak Rabbi Moshe Cordovero, who was. Um, the Kabbalistic rabbi of Tzfat in the 1500s, uh, before the Ariza. He was a student from Rabbi Shlomo Levi Alkabetz, the one who wrote the Chadodi. Very, very high-level Kabbalist. He wrote many books on Kabbalah, and he was the, one of the top Kabbalists before the Ariza. Uh, even after the Ariza, he, he was, uh, you know, recognized as one of the top Kabbalists. So, um, this, the, this book, uh, I like it very much because it's very practical. You know, sometimes you hear Kabbalist six up and you can't relate to it. And if you don't, you can't relate to it, then it's, it's, it's a waste of time. You need a special teacher for that. Um, but there are some basic foundation of, of, of Kabbalah or uh, spirituality that we can all understand and we should all understand. And this one deals um, at least at the beginning with um, how to love, how to be like God, and how to love uh, another Jew and, and eventually another human being, right? Um, it's just Jew is to practice. You practice on the Jew, then you can do it with every human being. So, just that you know, on, on that book, what people say, um, the Shla Hakadosh was another Kabbalist um, a bit later on. Uh, I think two, three hundred years ago, he said about the, that book, if you have been worthy of the light of the secrets of Torah, you know that the ten days of repentance correspond to the ten sefirot above. Uh, right, from Rosh Hashanah till Yom Kippur is ten days, ten days of repentance, and each one corresponds to one sefira, from the ten sefirot. But the right, ten sefirot, right, is that. Uh, tree, what we call the tree of life. Uh, not to understand right now, but we'll, we'll speak more about it later. Um, so during these 10 days, study Tomer Dvora in order to rectify the corresponding sphera each day. Meaning that this, this whole book is really split into 10 sections, each one co working on fixing one of the 10 spherot. And it, it, that's why it's so beautiful because it shows you, you know, we see, oh, Sfira, like we don't understand Chesed, Gvura, Tiferet, we don't understand like what that means, we, like some concept. But he makes it very practical. You want to know how to fix that? This is what you do. And it becomes, the Kabbalah becomes um, practical and very simple down to earth. Um, similarly, Rabbi Israel Salenter, the founder of the Musa movement, told his students to learn Torah Dvorah from the beginning of Elul which is coming very soon, until after Yom Kippur, and many other Gedolei Israel had made it customary to study the work at this time. Um, and I don't remember, okay, and there was another quote, I think it was there, but basically it says that anybody who reads that book on a regular basis is guaranteed to enter Olam Abba and, um, and, and, and to read, to, to, to change. Um, Okay, let's start. So, it is proper for man to emulate his creator, for then he will attain the secret of the supernal form in both image and likeness. Right? It says when God created man, he says he created him in his image and in his likeness. So there's two different parts. To, to God created man, okay? For if a person's physical form reflects the supernal form, yet his actions do not, he falsifies his stature. People will say of him, a handsome form whose deeds are ugly. So you can have you know, someone like me, a French man, very handsome form, right? But if I curse and I, 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 I hurt people, then I don't understand. You look such such a beautiful person, 
but your actions are ugly, this something doesn't work. You know, so, sometimes you, you see people like uh, doing terrible things and you look at them like, I would never believe that like, someone like that would do that, right? And because the form and the likeness, right? We said the image and the likeness doesn't work. So one is who we are, we are we made like Hashem in terms of form. So for my body, I can learn about Hashem. But also the action has to be something that fits my my body. Um, as if to say, you know, if I have a hand, I have to do things that a hand do, not what the, that the than an elephant do with his uh, tail. No, right? Because I have a hand, so that's my form, and the action has to be fitting the hand. Okay. For the essential aspect of the supernal form and likeness is that they are the deeds of the Holy One, blessed be He. So you want, you want to know how to use your hand, how to use your heart, how to use your thoughts, how to use your nose, all things. You have to know how Hashem acts. When you learn how Hashem acts, you do the same